to this fight is, is Liam McGeary about hype or about talent? He has dominated guys, but he hasn't shown us that long, grueling fight that you need to truly be great. Emmanuel Newton has had a lot of those fights. Liam has just dominated guys at 205 pounds in Bellator. I mean, he's a freak. He's six foot five, knockout power in both hands, crazy athletic, he controls range so well. You don't see guys that size with that kind of power very often. Where do you get a sparring partner that's that size that hits like that? You can't find any. He's so tall and so long that he can get distance with a jab that Emmanuel Newton has to kick to get that kind of range. So Emmanuel Newton, to me, needs one of those championship performances because that's something Liam McGeary has never seen. He's never seen round three. He's never seen round four. He's never seen round five. He's never been in those championship deep waters. Emmanuel Newton has. That's where he needs to drown Liam McGeary and make it about, I'm the champ, I've got the belt, I've been here before, you're in my world now. Keys to victory for Liam McGeary, control the range with his hands. Emmanuel Newton is used to controlling the range with his feet, uh -uh. make it about hand distance, throw combinations. Don't let Emmanuel Newton outwork you. He's a volume striker, he throws a lot of punches, a lot of kicks, he outworks guys. Liam McGeary has to be a workhorse, has to throw just as many strikes as Emmanuel Newton. For Emmanuel Newton, deep water. Don't get caught up in an early firefight. Don't get discouraged, stay with it. Like Linton Vassell, you might be behind. Stay with it, rounds four, rounds five. See if the kid still has gas in the championship rounds. That's what this fight's gotta be about if you're Emmanuel Newton. So Emmanuel Newton is a champion who needs a championship performance against a young guy. That's what this fight's about, old guard, new guard. Doesn't get more dramatic than this.